Now, Maude Argonga was born in 1887 in Blue Earth, Minnesota. She and her siblings, uh, she had three siblings, and they lost their mother when she was only six years old. And when she was 12 in 1899, her father, Fred Smith, sold his hotel and livery stable in southern Minnesota, so the farm just over the border in northern Iowa bought property in Texas, loaded up his four children, his mother, who, by the way, had emigrated from Breitling, England, as a teenager. Uh, he also took a brother, of course, their cattle and their dog, and they moved to Fairbanks and started a dairy. Now, the guys and the dog rode with the cattle in the cattle cars while Grandma Harriet and Edna, uh, Maud's sister, and Maud rode with the paying passengers. And I think before the trip was over, the guys were a little, uh, a little envious. Now, Fred, Gonka's dad and my great-grandfather was an artistic craftsman and an inventor of sorts. For instance, he carved or made violins, and he also designed and had a Tim Smith in Houston make for his busy daughter Maud a metal butter churn, which fit over the agitator of her electric Maytag washer. They had an abundance of fresh cream, and uh, the family of six and all the cow hands, they ate lots of butter. And they, that was really good on her wonderful biscuits. Now, this might have been in the very early 30s. I vaguely remember seeing this uh, churn, so to speak, um, used out in the brick wash house in the very early 1940s. And Gawker, too, had an inquisitive mind. She loved reading and loved learning. And with the move from Minnesota to Texas, she learned a good bit of geography. So, when the local school teacher at White Oak became quite ill, Maud, even as a young teenager, was um, asked to take over a classroom. Even though many of the students were much older than she. Well, it so happened in the early 1900s, Amel also saw the beauty in the same person, but as a 16-year-old Maud. After courting her for four years, they were married in 1907 and bought a shotgun-style house and 63 acres just east of Attics and just now off of what is now I-10. Well, in 1917, 10 years and three children later, they sold that acreage and bought 640 acres and built a two-story stucco home in Barker. While E.H. Everett the Hunter was on a deer hunt, the home was almost finished and Gawka decided it would be in their best interest to just go ahead and move. So, she had the wagon loaded with their furniture and other belongings, put the three children in their Model T, and drove the three miles to their new home in Barker. And I must add something here that their eldest daughter, my mother, shared with me. On April 2nd of the next year, 1918, some of the ranch hands came and offered to take the three young siblings out to hunt for turkey eggs down by Wolf Creek. When they got back, they had a darling baby sister with that blue-black hair, just like their mama. Mm -hmm. 